our climate is changing. And for scientists, there's no question about it. We humans are responsible for most of the changes observed, mainly due to emissions into the Earth's atmosphere. What will be the consequences of the greenhouse effect in the upcoming decades? Will large portions of the polar cap start melting, for instance? Will the frequency of floods and hurricanes increase as a result of climate change? We won't know for sure until it's already too late for any corrective measures. We cannot experiment with our climate because it's the only one we have. That's why the only way to predict climate change is by simulating it with computers. The Geomaticum at the University of Hamburg. This is the location of the Max Planck Institute for Meteorology and the German Climate Computing Center. Scientific know-how combined with state-of-the-art computer technology make complex simulations possible. In these simulations, scientists predict how the atmosphere and ocean might change over time in response to increasing greenhouse gas concentrations. Such calculations cannot be carried out at home on your personal computer. Scientists require high-speed supercomputers. The quality of the predictions depends on a computer's power. The more powerful the computer, the more detailed and more precise the picture of the future climate. The climate simulations produce an enormous amount of data. All the results are stored on magnetic tape. Hamburg's climate researchers have devised entirely new methods for their experiments. Most computations of the future global warming which have been carried out in the past have been made with atmospheric models which were coupled to a very simple ocean including only the top 50 meters of the ocean. Uh, these models are able to compute only the equilibrium climate. They cannot compute the evolution of climate over, say, a hundred year period. Uh, we were interested in computing the changing climate for a global warming using a coupled ocean atmosphere model because the oceans are an essential part of the climate system. It's uh, well known that the climate in Europe is much milder, six degrees warmer than the climate in the U.S. And this is due, of course, to the transport of heat by the Gulf Stream from the equatorial regions to the polar regions. Uh, also, the oceans can store large quantities of heat and therefore delay the global warming. Uh, it's therefore very important to include the oceans with the atmosphere in a complete coupled model for uh, global warming simulations. And this was the goal of our numerical experiment. The experiments included two scenarios. Scenario one, business as usual. Man continues to pump more and more emissions into the atmosphere, resulting in a dramatic increase in the concentration of greenhouse gases, in particular, carbon dioxide. Scenario two, if drastic political measures are taken, the amount of emissions could be frozen at the current level until the year 2025, and thereafter even cut by half. In this case, the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere rises more slowly, leveling off a bit higher than at present. This is what the result of the Hamburg simulation looks like. On the left, scenario one with continued CO2 emissions. On the right, scenario two with steps towards drastic reduction. The color scale indicates atmospheric warming compared with 1985. The redder the color, the warmer the temperature. At first, both scenarios show much the same pattern. The changes are within the range of natural fluctuations in the Earth's climate. After the year 2025, however, in scenario one, the surface temperature rises rapidly and some land areas become over four degrees warmer. The rise in temperature in scenario two, on the other hand, remains much smaller. The simulation also shows clearly that the warming above the land masses is more intense than over the seas. The ocean stores a tremendous amount of heat, thus damping the greenhouse effect. 
No simulation has ever demonstrated these alternatives so clearly. On the left, the completely altered greenhouse climate. On the right, the much more moderate warming. From a quantitative standpoint, the Hamburg model fundamentally confirms the results of other studies. Briefly stated, with continued CO2 emissions, the atmosphere heats up by an average of two and a half degrees. That would mean a climatic catastrophe with unforeseeable consequences. If emissions are reduced in the right manner, then the average temperature rises by only one degree. The worst can still be prevented if we act now to reduce emissions. How important it is to include ocean currents in climate simulation is shown by the example of the Gulf Stream, which transports warm water from America to Europe. This is what the resulting temperature field looks like. Along the European coast, the water is warmer than in North America, causing a milder climate. The surface current is only one aspect of the Gulf Stream. If we follow the paths of individual water particles, we see that part of the water is transported into the deeper ocean layers, where it moves southwards and rises to the surface, thus causing a vertical circulation. By simulating this phenomenon for several individual particles, we can show that the sinking to deeper ocean layers only takes place in two isolated regions. Along the coast of Greenland and in the Norwegian Sea. That's where we find the motor of the Gulf Stream. These zones are indicated in the picture by yellow and red. An important result of the simulation, the greenhouse effect reduces the size of these regions. The consequence? The Gulf Stream becomes weaker. No one can predict exactly what this might mean for Europe's future climate. The current results of computer simulations do not yet allow us to make any concrete predictions for specific regions of the Earth. The models are still not refined enough. But the predictions do show that we are headed for a climatic catastrophe if we continue to abuse our planet. We still have choices open to us. Science can provide valuable information on what political steps should be taken in order to prevent such a catastrophe.